Alone on the ice is where Steve Ludzik says his body feels most free, most in control. It's been five decades since Ludzik first laced up skates. Even as a child, he knew pro hockey was in his future. I was 11 years old playing minor Adam hockey, and I led the city of Toronto in scoring, and I received the nicest trophy in the mail, addressed to Stephen Ludzik. And it was for leading the league in scoring. And the next six years, I led the city of Toronto in scoring, I never got another trophy. And the year before my dad died, I, I, I asked him a question that I deep down knew the answer. I said, did you make, send that trophy to me? And he goes, yeah, I thought you needed a little bit of confidence booster, just a little pat. And that's, at that age, at 10, 11 years old, I knew I was gonna play in the National Hockey League. And Ludzik did make it to the NHL. Here's Ludzik, we score! Well, the guy that made it all possible was number 29, Ludzik. But 12 pro seasons as a fourth line checker took its toll on his body. I was finishing up playing in Rochester, the Americans, and uh, I broke my sternum, and I broke my foot, my hand, my wrist, my arm, my, my collarbone, and the sternum was the final straw. My wife tapped me on the shoulder, we were driving home from the hospital. She goes, remember that tap? It's time to go, your body's failing, it's falling apart, and it was. The bones would heal, but a few years later, while coaching the Tampa Bay Lightning, there was something much more serious taking hold of Ludzik's body. I noticed my baby finger was jumping up and down. I said, geez, that's, that's kind of peculiar. And then my shoulders got sore, and then my left leg. And I went to see a doctor, and uh, the lady doctor said, she did a checkup, she goes, you got Parkinson's disease, and just walked out of the office. That was it, like, you've got Parkinson's disease. And walked out. I couldn't believe it, I was astounded. I was, I was sitting there going, holy cow, that's it? Parkinson's disease, a degenerative disorder of the central nervous system. At 39 years of age, Steve Ludzik's life was changed forever. This is the amount of medicine you take each and every day. It's kind of astounding for me, David, even to sit back and look at it sitting in front of me that I take this every day. If I don't take these during the day, I, can, I feel off a little bit. For more than a decade, only Ludzik's family and closest friends knew about his illness before he finally broke his silence in 2012. I woke up one morning and said, you know what, I'm tired of running away from this. I can make a lot of money for this disease and help, help find a cure. And I decided that I wasn't going to run from it, and I called Parkinson's the bully that I was going to bash. What was the response from the NHL community when you, when you reached out to them saying, I have Parkinson's? Hockey players by nature are, the, to me, the greatest athletes in the world, the nicest athletes in the world. Um, I got calls from tons of players and saying, hey, Anything we can do to help you, let us know. And the NHL community came out in full force, supporting a celebrity roast for both Bobby Hull and Mike Keenan. Ludzi, thanks for having me. The out two tonight. roasts, uh, along with a pair of celebrity uh, hockey events in St. Catharines, raised nearly $200,000 to fund the Steve Ludzik Center for Parkinson's Rehab at Hotel Du Shaver. There's over 100,000 people in this country with Parkinson's and very few facilities that provide this uh, care. We have speech language therapists that work with uh, our Parkinson's folks. Breathe in, one, two, three, and breathe out. We have OT, occupational therapists and physiotherapists. We have an advanced practice nurse that works with them. We have rehab assistants, and the list goes on. Building Ludzik's facility has involved the entire community, including a corporate donation from Scotiabank and support from St. Catharines MP Rick Dykstra. We can actually start to do the research necessary to drive this thing to the point where everywhere else across the country they're saying, how are you running a clinic for the amount of money that you are and how, are you, how have you made it such a permanent feature? So I just see this thing growing and uh, you know, Steve's vision and view of, of the direction we need to go in is we need to keep working. There are more than 70 people on a waiting list to be accepted into the Ludzik facility, the only rehab center for Parkinson's in Ontario. For those who have finished the six week program, the results have been undeniable. I'm so much better now, I can get a hold of things, not as good as I could previously, but I'm alive in a different way. And that's because of what happened here and these people have helped me out. It's changed your life. Absolutely. If you could write your legacy, how would you like to be remembered? Former NHL player, writer, TV coach, and the man who raised a lot of money for Parkinson's disease. That's all I'd like to be remembered.
I wrote a, a thing about Parkinson's. Everybody asked me about Parkinson's disease, how it affects me, and I'll tell you how I think. I talked with Parkinson's, I tried to ignore you, but you're not, you, you were a bully. You would not go away. I ran from you, I hid from you, hoping you would leave me alone. But someone should have told you. Somebody should have let you know. Somebody should have warned you before you started with me 14 years ago. You picked the wrong guy. You dialed the wrong number. You called the wrong guy outside. Now I am the hunter, not the hunted. I am the hammer, not the nail. That's the way I treat Parkinson's disease.